Hey -o, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for joining me for this episode of Life Through the Lens. Today we're gonna be discussing legendary street photographer, Bruce Gilden. Now, if you are familiar with my TikTok page, you have seen a short brief video on him before that has gotten a lot of traction and there's a lot of comments and everything that people have made about him. So I think that it would be interesting to kind of dive a little bit more into who he is as a person and as a photographer and go over some of the amazing things that he's done. So we will be getting started right now. Gildan is by all accounts a complete character. He was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1946. And I don't know any other way to put it besides he's just a New Yorker. Bruce has traveled around the world taking some of the most personal and in your face photos to date. It seems as if in the photography community, you either love him or you hate him. His unusual and invasive style of shooting allows him to capture moments in the streets that would be otherwise impossible to capture. Some people find this way of shooting really disrespectful and rude. However, because of this style, that we've seen some absolutely amazing photographs that tell a story without saying a word. Bruce is a personal inspiration of mine, and because of him, I've had the courage to do similar work to him, but I, I don't think that I'll ever be able to build up the courage to actually do what he does. He's been a member of Magnum Photos since 1998, has published various books, and has received the European Publishers Award for Photography as well as a Guggenheim Fellowship. Personally, I think what makes Gildan's photos so interesting and has granted him the success that he's acquired is that he doesn't shy away from the unusual the strange, the not so pleasing, the deranged, the imperfect moments. We tend to think of portraits of people as something of beauty, high fashion, portraiture, wedding, maybe graduation photos. All of these are stylized, they're planned, they're fabricated, predetermined outcomes that are thoroughly thought through either by an individual or a team of people. Gildan's work is the exact opposite, and I think that that's why it catches our eye. It's spontaneous. He captures the good, the bad, the ugly. Gildan sneaks into this realm of shadows in which no human hopes to be seen in and he uses his flash and illuminates exactly that. We see the startled, the calm, the noble, the young and the old, the abusers, and the ones just trying to get by. Um. How'd you get there? I think what's important to talk about with Gildan is something that I think often gets overlooked, and that's his intent. He receives a lot of hate uh, for the way that he goes about taking his photos, you know, the flash in the face and being invasive of people's personal space and in everybody's business. Some call it talentless and some say that it's not even true photography, but personally, I think that the people who say that just don't really understand photography in general, and they definitely don't have the courage to do what he does. But nonetheless, let's dive into uh, a comment that I saw on one of the interviews by the WNYC featuring Bruce Gilden. It says, to me, street photography is an art form for being in harmony with street people and environment. As for taking a photo of unexpected facial expression, you should record it by patience and observation, not produce it by assaulting, closed range flashing and indignity. There are a bunch of other comments similar to this one down in the YouTube video as well. And while I do think that it serves for a valid argument, it definitely is indecent and it can be quite assaulting having a camera forced into your face and snapping a photo with a bright flash. It can be very assaulting, I, I, I understand. However, there are no rules in which you conduct street photography. This is a relatively modernistic way of thinking and I think that this stems from the lack of knowledge between the difference between urban photography and street photography. However, that's a totally different video that will be made in the future. I digress. Nowhere is there a handbook or guidelines for being harmonious when taking street photography photos. I think the reason people tend to not like Gildan is because he's just unapologetically himself. He hunts for photos rather than waits for them. 
He's not a very patient person. He goes out into the world and seeks them out. Another big reason that people don't like Gildan is because of the flash. And I totally understand. Nobody wants to be flashed in the face. Comments say that it's rude, disrespectful, or harassment. And while I agree it, it is rude, it's obvious that the people who call him talentless just haven't done their research. In that same interview with the WNYC, Gildan says, I use Flash a lot because Flash helps me visualize my feelings of the city the energy, the stress, the anxiety. Whether you like it or not, Bruce isn't doing these things coincidentally. He isn't just doing them to be some a-hole sticking a flash in your face and blinding you for a split second. That's his intent. His intent is to showcase the stress of the city. And if you've never been to New York City, you, I don't know if you would really understand. It's bustling, it's loud, the energy, it, there is anxiety everywhere. Nobody knows where they're going. It's it's crazy and i think that by using the flash and getting up close and personal in people's space and in their bubble he does a flawless job of making people understand the anxiety when people talk about bruce's work i think they mostly talk about his work as a street photographer which i mean that's what everybody really knows him as but i also want to point out that he's more than just a street photographer he's done fashion work for companies like nike and diesel and burberry and he's an accomplished journalist he's not just a street photographer he takes risks and covers huge stories he spends time dedicating his life to uncovering things and shedding light on real world issues his book, Haiti, is an amazing showcase of the lives of the people that live in third world countries. Poverty, hunger, sorrow, as well as kindness, love, and happiness. All of these emotions that he portrays through his photos, they can't be staged, they're authentic. And when people say his work is staged because people would punch him in the face and there are too many big and bad people in this world and that just wouldn't fly. They obviously haven't seen his work with the Japanese Mafia, also known as the Yakuza. He's got a whole entire book dedicated to working with them. I don't think that the general population is bigger and badder than the Japanese Mafia. And when people say that Gildan's work doesn't stand for anything, it doesn't shed light on any problems, obviously they haven't taken a look at another one of Gildan's books, American Made. This book, Gildan questions the reality of what the USA is today and what is the new American dream. The reason he's so successful is because of his authenticity. He's adaptive, keen, sly, but most of all, he's creative. He does things that aren't normal and that upsets people. And no matter who you are in whatever field, if you do things that aren't normal, you're gonna get some backlash. You may not like the man, but if there's anything that you should take away from this episode, it's that having something authentic to say will always push the boundaries of whatever medium you're going to be working in, and you will receive backlash for that. However, just because you receive backlash doesn't mean that you shouldn't do those things. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on Life Through the Lens. I will be putting a few of the interviews that I watched down in the description below, as well as links to Gildan's website and social media pages. Don't forget to check out the podcast starting on this upcoming Monday at 4.30 p.m. Head on over to my website or Instagram to check out some of my own personal work and maybe pick yourself up one of my new prints that are out. Uh, they will be hand signed and sent to you. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, now get out there and get shooting.